Sitting on the Ganges River in the foothills of the Himalayas is the city of Rishikesh. For many years, people have traveled from all over the world to this city to study meditation and yoga. The Beatles, my club, Donovan, the Farrah sisters came here to study transcendental meditation. It's a completely vegetarian city and alcohol is banned. I'm expecting this place to be a little bit different to Delhi. So let's go and explore the mystical city of Rishikesh. The city is absolutely filled with cows. <laughs> Literally cows everywhere. No burgers made out of these. Oh, this is the Ganges River. Nice viewpoint. You have to be careful. Even in here, the guy wanted to give me a blessing and uh, tie a, a, a ribbon around my wrist. And then they'll ask for money. Now, I'm pretty sure that they won't scam me in there. If they do it on the streets, you'll, you'll definitely get scammed. Well, I do believe that down these stairs, in fact, it's here and it's bloody closed. I was going to go here. The Beach Falls Cafe. There are actually two in the city. I'm heading along the main road um, out of Rishikesh, or at least out of uh, this area that I'm staying in. Tapaban, I think it's called, something like that. Because apparently about 10 minutes around the corner there's a really nice viewpoint overlooking the Ganges River. I hope it's not up there. What the hell? Well, I did not expect to see a Burger King and a Domino's Pizza. Get bloody everywhere, don't I? And there we have it. The viewpoint over Rishikesh. Now, ideally, I would like to get down to the river. Over here we have, I think this is Goa Beach and Little Goa Beach. I don't think there's a way down from here. Right, I've spent some time chilling out in the hostel because it was just unbearably hot. So um, now I'm going to head back down to the Beatles Cafe, which will hopefully be open now. And I'm going to go and get myself a vegetable curry overlooking the Ganges River, hopefully. Oh, it's open. Hello. And this is why people come look at this for a view. Well, I'm skipping it because, believe it or not, there's no Indian food. <laughs> well, just next to the Beatles Cafe, a few metres down, is the Om Shanti Cafe. And that, again, on the outside says Italian and Chinese. I don't bloody Italian and Chinese. I don't bloody Indian. Oh, this looks nice. This is what you call the Indian experience. Mixed veg curry, butter, naan, back down to two quid. And we've got some live Indian music as well. Absolutely delicious. This is my last day in Richard 
finish. It's about 12 o'clock. I've had a slow start. I'm not eating anything yet. Still not had a coffee. What the hell? I mean, what's the point? It's not going anywhere. <sighs> Come up to Rishikesh to relax. <laughs> Right, I'm going to head over to the other side of the river. There's a few things that I want to go and see today uh, that I missed the other day because I had company. So I wasn't really filming that much, but uh, we're going to head over there now. It's got a few temples. It's all a bit hippie over there. So I think I pretty much remember the way to get there. Hi. So uh, from here to, no, no, not today, tomorrow, uh, to uh, Nepali Farm. Yeah. Nepali Farm from here, yeah? Okay, my friend. Yeah. I didn't ask him how long it would take, and that's what I need to know because I've got a, a bus that's picking me up at 10:55 tomorrow, tomorrow morning, and uh, it basically picks you up on the side of the road. As far as I know, there's no station or anything. So we'll see. Because the traffic, yeah, the traffic in and out of this place is not that good. Although to be honest, it doesn't look too bad going out. It's coming in that's the problem. This is what annoys me about India. We're in Rishikesh, which is a holy city where people don't drink alcohol and people don't eat meat. They'd be perfectly happy to just throw litter everywhere. Well, here's the bridge that I'm about to take over the Ganges. Nice view from here. I once did take this bridge before, 10 years ago and we got stuck we got about a third of the way and then everyone just seemed to stand still and we couldn't work out why and uh it turned out that there was a cow crossing the bridge and halfway across the bridge the cow decided he's just gonna lay down and so no one could pass him and no one could move him on because it was a cow <coughs> to the other side of the Ganges. It's no less busy over here. <laughs> Just down here, apparently, four minutes walk away, we have a coffee shop that actually does Americanos and not just instant coffee. And it's called the Honey Shop. And all the coffees come with honey. That sounds pretty nice, actually. So it's a little bit expensive. Well, it's £1.20. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I need coffee to start the day before I do any more adventurising. It's a nice shop list. On the walls it has information about bees. So here's a random bee fact for you. An average worker bee makes only about half a teaspoon of honey in its lifetime. Amazing. Well, the cup has arrived. I was expressing it to put the honey over the end, but I actually bring a ton of honey. Let me have a taste of this. Oh, that is really, really nice. I've already put some in my coffee. Let's give this a go. just because it's free and it's good for you. Oh my man. There we go. Making the most of this. <laughs> right, while well, we're down here, just around this corner, we have the uh, statue of the Shiva. So while we're here, we might as well go and take a look. Oh, well, we can't take a look. So they're doing some works on this road, 
which means we can't get to the Shiva, but maybe if we drop down here, we can get to it this way. Well, that's about as close as we're going to get, unfortunately, because they're doing work on all of this, so you can't get down to it. One of the most iconic symbols in the whole of Rishikesh, and it's closed. <laughs> Well, I thought I might take advantage of being on the Ganges River by at least dipping my feet in. It's really, really nice and cool. <laughs> it feels so good. The Ganges has come from the Himalayas for about 129 kilometers. And uh, so up here it's uh, relatively clean. So once you get down to the uh, cities further down into central India, then uh, it's a different story completely. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly sure what this place is, but there's uh, some interesting things outside. No. I'm not exactly sure what they are or what they're doing it just keeps ringing the bell randomly now we have people carrying things on their head what a place this is <laughs> <What the> <laughs> Corn cooked in a wok. Well, this is on my Google Maps as Temple Gate, Boothnath Temple. So I'm presuming that this leads right up to a temple, which is, yeah, that one up there. According to Google Maps, you can go up to the temple and uh, climb to the top and it offers views all over the entire city so that's what I'm going to try and do I've got a feeling I'm going to get up here and uh, somebody's going to just latch onto me and want some money but I can't come all this way and not go and see it I've reached it to the temple apparently it's 13 floors high don't like the sound of that much but well, here are the stairs that take you about halfway up. I've made it 13 floors. And yeah, not bad views over Rishikesh. Whew. Well, I kind of missed a day yesterday because uh, it was just way too hot and I just really couldn't be asked. Maybe it's because uh, I'd spent the evening before drinking five big cans of extremely strong lager. Maybe. But today I'm on it, it's my last day, so I'm going to literally walk around and just see the whole area. I'm not going to do any water sports or rafting or anything like that. And uh, I'm not interested in yoga either, so basically it's just having a walk around the city and cramming it all in before I leave tomorrow. This is Tapa then over here. This is where I'm staying. It's quite lively over there. The last time I was here, I stayed down here, but it's quite lively over here as well. <laughs> over here is like the main part, I guess, of the city. And I've not really explored any of that. I'm not even sure that that is Rishikesh, maybe that's Haridwar, I'm not sure. Ah, over here. This is the Beatles ashram. You can see the domes that are on top of the building, that's the only thing you can see of it. Well, 
I suppose I better ring it just to show that I've been here. I wasn't the only person who was uh, making my way up to the top. There was one old woman, 13 floors. She climbed to get to the top just so she could ring the bell. On Google Maps, this is called the Panting Wall. I'm presuming it means the Painting Wall. This is bringing me right back to the lower of the two bridges in Rishikesh. I'm not sure when I'm going to cross it just yet. It's a bit of a weird time because apparently at half past five on the river there's some kind of uh, ceremony. And what time is it now? Half two. So that alcohol is banned in Rishikesh. That's some bloody effort. Alcoholics Anonymous Rishikesh. <laughs> How do you get addicted to something that's not available? Well, this is the centre of the ashram. Which well, all looks very nice. Not too keen on the toilet facilities though. From which country? Which country? Eng England. 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 Yeah. to the uh, Ganges River because apparently tonight well every night in fact there's something called the Ganga Arte in the evening now I have read that it was at five o'clock I think it's going to be later than that because I think it's when the Sun goes down and uh, yeah I'm not exactly sure what happens but they're cleaning up I've just been moved from there they're cleaning up all this space and the Hare Krishnas have turned up and taken a soak in the Ganges so something's going to happen, I just don't know what. According to Hindi tradition, the river Ganga is the Divine Mother who gives life in the form of water. And the Ganga Arte, which is what's about to start now, is um, uh, the worship of the river Ganga. So any minute now we should start hearing some bells and people are going to float dyers on the river to show their respect and this happens every single night. I'm hoping to get on with it, I want a pizza. two hours and I mean nothing's really happened people are just here enjoying the uh, evening and yeah I was expecting the bells to go off and then something to happen but yeah this is pretty much it but I just like to get up to leave and then some guys come up and said over here something's happening at 6.30 it's 6.32 already so I don't know but something's about to happen just over here so I'm going to stick around and wait for that and uh, well yeah we'll see well, the Panay Puri is doing a roaring trade now and now I'm going to shoot off I think this is actually a live singer but I can't actually spot who's singing so maybe it isn't, who knows it's like quarter to seven now, it's going to be dark soon it's about half an hour walk back to Tepperman where I'm staying I think I'm going to have a pizza tonight because I've got a long day of travel tomorrow I don't want to risk having a, a curry in my belly for a long journey so 
it's playing it safe tonight, I think. Yes. Well, it sounds like there's something going on at the other side as well. You watch, I'll leave and it'll all bloody start. I've been here two and a half hours. I'm getting hungry now. 